welcome to another in-depth video about this master bathroom. Now, things we had to consider when designing this were things like the tile work, the fittings, and also the lighting. Those are the most vital things that we had to look into, but also we had to look into the client's personal feel and what she wanted, because this is another space that we really want them to enjoy. So the first thing you might notice when you're looking at this bathroom, it's very, very monochromatic. We went for tiles that are very similar. The uh, wall tiles and floor tiles are in the same color scheme and everything else around it is basically like white. This was very, very intentional because we wanted to go for something that was very minimalistic and very modern and very classy. And by using similar colors that uh, look almost the same to each other, we were able to achieve that in a way that doesn't look too boring. So the difference in tiles is that for the walls, we went with something that has a glossy finish and for the floor, we went with something that has more of a matte finish that was intentional because this space will be interacting with quite a lot of water, so we wouldn't want someone to slip and hurt themselves. So going for matte tiles was the best idea. Now, another thing you may notice is the simple, clean lines that adds to the overall design that you can see that uh, being presented here with the type of tub that we chose. Now, we didn't want to go with one of those traditional inbuilt, bulky type of tubs. We went with this very sleek, modern, standalone tub that is big enough to really fit anyone. You can see that it has the tap there with the hot and cold water, but it also has this handheld shower if you need that. We completed the space above it by adding these wall hangings that are a decorative element. You might think that that is not needed, but it really does complete the wall and also kind of speaks to the purpose of the space. One of them says, relax, soak and wind. And that's exactly what we want the client to be able to do here to just really come in and relax. So the next absolutely amazing feature that I really love is this very high end shower cubic. Now what I love about this is not only does it just bring in the contrast with the black, but also it comes with quite a number of very useful features. Now, it's not only a shower cubic, like in the traditional sense, it is very high tech. It has jets and an area where you could sit down if you want to use the jets as a means of getting like a back massage. It also has this rainfall feature that means that the water comes straight from the top in like a rainfall-like manner, but it also has the handheld shower if that's what you prefer, but overall it's a very functional piece and serves multiple functions. And I think it was the best thing to have in this bathroom. Now, the next thing is, the toilet bowl you might not think that's very interesting but uh one of our previous videos we did get a comment someone asking why we didn't shift that around now first thing is we didn't feel like it was necessary now we changed the fitting but we didn't feel the need to shift it because if we shifted it that would mean that we're messing with the plumbing of the entire house and that is just not necessary so as much as we're not afraid to get our hands dirty we also understand when things are just fine where they are so and i think that was just a perfect area to have it to serve its purpose and it's kind of away from everything the next thing is the vanity you know it's very very important how you design the vanity for any bathroom and we went for a very modern his and her sink that is to up the functionality at any point there's two people here I always say they'll never get in each other's way because everybody has their space. But this also brings the entire theme of the bathroom together. We have those simple clean lines, we have those light monotonous shades, and we have this seamless medicine cabinet that has the mirrors. Like there's nothing obstructing that and that's absolutely beautiful and it's very clean i feel like having everything have that aesthetic and those simple clean lines it just makes the whole space feel very cohesive now it also has a light on top 
and it's generally just a very beautiful functional space now we did not skimp on the storage we have the medicine cabinets but also below we have these drawers that have this feature where you just kind of press and it pops out super convenient you don't have to use your soapy hands to start pulling on knobs that you have to wipe down later now the next major thing for this room that i cannot miss talking about is the lighting we have played around with quite a number of lighting fixtures in this room we have recess lights spotlights we have floor lights and then we have this gorgeous chandelier and every single light serves a purpose for example let's start with the spotlights we have these two spotlights right by the entrance that is to just really highlight that space because it is the entryway so it's, it's a good idea to have a good focus of light that we have these floor lights these are for ambience you can see the placement is right next to the tub now we enjoy candles when you're using your tub but sometimes maybe you don't want that hazard so you can turn off all the other lights and just have the floor lights and still have that experience of the ambience as you're sitting in your tub and enjoying maybe your favorite show on the TV. The next thing that I really want to touch on is this absolutely stunning chandelier. Now I have said we have a couple of decorative features and this is both functional and decorative because it is a light source but also we went for this glass and gold chandelier which is absolutely striking and stands out against all the color scheme of the rest of the room but also it just it's fits in so perfectly and the next thing is the recess lights and the cove lights you can see we have cove lighting in the design of the gypsum that we chose but we also have those recess lights over there because it's supposed to be a very well lit area this is your bathroom you don't want any accidents happening due to poor lighting and you can tell it has a very small window so there isn't much natural light so every light is a very purposeful and functional feature so i think overall for this bathroom we have achieved something that we can confidently say the client is going to be a hundred percent happy with this is her aesthetic because when it comes to bathrooms even other rooms in the house we do want to work hand in hand with the client and personalize this spaces because it is a space that we want them to be able to come in and enjoy so as i mentioned you have to think of the tiles, you have to think of the lighting, you have to think about what kind of fittings you're going to put in this space to just maximize on functionality, but also just make it a very pleasant place to come in and enjoy. So thank you for joining me on this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you but also i want you to like and share but most importantly you have to turn on your notification bells so that you can get a notification every time we upload any more new videos you can also find us on facebook on twitter and on instagram all at fine urban interiors my name is cynthia shoya from fine urban interiors and i will see you on the next one